Hi, and welcome to our new video where we want to discuss storing files on SharePoint versus OneDrive for Business, the similarities, the differences, and when to use each one. So let's get started with some similarities. As you can see, both layouts are fairly similar. We have put both applications side by side in our web browser just to give you a better idea of how similar and different they really are at the same time. As you can see, the files and folders in both applications are laid out in pretty much the same way. And it's the same up the top with our taskbar. You can see that they are pretty much identical at the top there. They also use the same technologies and there are loads of visual features that are the exact same as you can see in this demonstration. Now for some differences, as there has been a lot of confusion as to which applications to use and when. We're going to start by looking at SharePoint. Now SharePoint is primarily used to share and work on documents with your team members. You have options to create new pages and work with lists of data. This makes it more flexible but a little more complex than using OneDrive. When we look at OneDrive, it is more simplified and it is primarily used for working on and storing personal files. And as OneDrive is for your private files, you can decide whether you want to share these files with members of your team and you can manage who, can, who has access even after the file has been shared. As you can see at the top there, we have a stop sharing button. So once we've clicked on that, we then change the privacy so that only you have access. Once we have done this, we're going to refresh our page and then it should come up with on the sharing column and now says that it's private. If we click on that and to manage access again, we'll be able to see that there is no one else accessing this. But if you do want to share it again, the button is still there for when you're ready to share your files again. Now, if we go and take a look at SharePoint, we can see that it's the opposite. So when we go into manage access, we can then see that it is automatically and primarily shared with everyone until you choose to press the stop sharing button and make it private. So if you're looking to work mostly on shared documents with your team, you would use SharePoint, but the documents that you would work on privately should be stored within OneDrive. OneDrive has a default folder called My Files where all of your files will be stored and your documents are presented here. It's easy to navigate and really user friendly. As we can see here, we can quite easily upload folders. We just choose one, click on upload and it does the rest for us. We can also create new files and documents. We can work on these privately and then they automatically get stored in our files on OneDrive. Now with SharePoint, SharePoint has a default library called Documents, which works in the same way, but you can have lots of libraries and anyone with access to the SharePoint site can create and edit them. You can end up with a lot. So if you need the flexibility to have multiple pages and libraries, SharePoint is the perfect place. So that's everything for today's video. We hope this has given some insight into the similarities, differences, and how to use each platform. Subscribe for more tips and tricks.